on Daytime Buffalo, we introduce you to St. Hyde, the French Bulldog fur baby of Bill's safety, Micah Hyde. Plus, how you can see more of the Bill's pups at an upcoming event. And keeping up with the Bill's theme, our Daytime Course and Spirits segment brought to you by Georgetown Square Wine and Liquor shows you how to celebrate the Bills and yourself with exclusive NFL team-inspired vino. It's all coming up right here on Daytime Buffalo. Good afternoon, hello, and welcome to Daytime Buffalo. I'm your host, Chelsea Lavelle. Joining me now is Amanda and Delion Alford of Alford's Angels, along with a special friend. Hi guys, how are you? Oh, good, good, how are you doing? Why don't you tell us who this guy is? So this is Saint Hyde. He's a Frenchie. He's the bulldog of Micah Hyde and Amanda Hyde. And he's one of our clients at Alfred's Angels, our grooming salon. Yeah, why don't you tell us more about your salon and how you got started? Yeah, so um, Alfred's Angels were a family owned business owned by myself and my husband, Dillian. <laughs> um, we, are, we really care about the dog's experience. Our mission is to make grooming a positive experience. So when you come in our salon, you'll see that we're one-on-one, -on -one, we're crate-free, we use all natural products. <laughs> come on. Um, and we offer many things. We offer educational workshops for grooming, such as nail um, trim workshops. Um, we offer daycares coming up at the yep, end of this month, so we're training. super That's excited. Um, and then we also have a pet retail store inside our salon called Nickel City Pet Pantry, where we offer quality dog food <laughs> and treats for the fur babies. And we love giving back to the community. One thing about Alfred's Angels, we're big on giving back. So we're always trying to partner with other organizations or whatever's going on in the community to just give a helping hand. That's right. That leads us to the second annual Meet and Treat, yeah. the Dogs of the Bills event coming up. Why don't you yeah. tell us about that? Well, yeah, you know, that's our fundraising event. And last year, we pretty much only used the Bills Players nonprofits. But this year, we, our aim is to get more into the community. And we got a lot more local nonprofits involved. So just excited. And you'll be surprised how many people want to come out and actually meet the players' dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. you know, people get the opportunity to meet the players. So we're happy that we can bring our clients that we have that are from the Bills Players so they can meet them. They're all so wonderful. You know, Saint here. They love people, they love the pets, they love the rub downs. So at our meet and treat, you're gonna be able to come meet them. There'll be photo opportunities where you could take pictures with them. Um, the event is taking place at Barkology, which is an indoor dog park and bar. So, you know, there'll be a lot of fun going on there. Um, it'll be a great time. We'll have some special guests in yeah, the building. Yeah, there's rumors that a player might actually come through. <gasps> yeah, oh so <laughs> rumors. We know we got a little confirmation. We can't say who, but we do recommend if you're coming out, grab your tickets now, because once they're gone, they're gone. There won't be tickets at the door. Um, it's it's going to be a great evening. We'll have other special guests besides some of the other. We'll have other Bills players' dogs there, but we'll have special guests from the community, such as 716 Paws. Yep. We'll have Buddy Second Chance Rescue in the building. We'll have True. Trooper, the Great Dane oh, on the we building. love Trooper, Amy's dog. Yes, yep. and then we'll also have um, Braids by Cassie will be there doing Bill's Braids. So it's just, it's gonna be a great time. And yeah. as like Dillian said, the biggest piece is the fundraising, our basket raffle. We've had a lot of local businesses donate some wonderful baskets for our raffle. Um, yeah. And all of it, we're raising the funds for the nonprofits. Yeah. Um, the nonprofits being 716 Paws, um, Buddy Second Chance, and Fantastic Friends of Rushton, New York. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I love that yeah. you included them. Fantastic friends of Western New York. They've been on the show. They're not a dog, um, you know, organization. They help all t sort of children with different abilities. Yeah. Um, but why is it so important for you guys to put on a v an event like this and give back? I feel like, so like the Bills players, they go hard for their families, you know. We go hard for our families. I just figured out a way for the dogs to chip in as well, you know. <laughs> It just worked out. It was just an experiment, but you know, the beautiful venue at Barkology mixed with the idea, it just worked out, you know. Mm -hmm. So don't fix nothing that isn't broke. So yeah. we just we, tried it again. We had to bring it back. Like, yeah. It was such a great turnout um, the first time, and Asleep. we were very <laughs> thankful. Yeah, I know you snooze. Yeah. We were very thankful for the, to, to the Bill's dads, or the Bill's dog's dads. <laughs> the, Bill's dog's dads, yeah, the yeah, Bill's players, right. um, that they, you know, they allowed us to take their dogs for yeah. the night and allow the community to come out to meet them. 
these special guys keep our Bills players happy yes. when they come home from games. So, you know, they're part of the us winning too. They are. They <laughs> like, love their dogs. You gotta, you gotta imagine this, right? Imagine sending your dog out and he comes back with a fifteen hundred dollar check for your nonprofit. Yeah. <laughs> Think about true. that. This, 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 true. You know? So the doggies they get to help, you know, the Buffalo community. So and it's it's a really great time. You know, people really enjoy you know, we're we're a community Buffalo is a city of dog lovers, That's right. city of Bills fans and yeah. city of giving. Mm -hmm. So so we just kind of put an event together that included all of that and we're so excited for our, the you know this is the second year so we're excited yeah. and tell us a little bit more about the upcoming daycare you're hoping to open oh yeah so you can go ahead okay so we're, we're opening a daycare again we tried it before but this time it's right next door so okay. the location is going to be pretty much the same but we're going to add the element of training via T. Harris K9. So uh -huh. before it was just daycare, you know, dogs were just coming to hang out. But now they get to come hang out and learn, you know. Oh, well, okay. Six, well, I need late. to sign Remy up for that daycare. Cause... Even like potty training, we're not going to let them go inside. We're going to treat it like home, oh, just yeah. stuff like so, that. One thing about us, we're all about the family vibe, the positive vibes, yeah. and we really pride ourselves on having that home-like environment when people come into the salon. So we're just gonna create that into the daycare as well. So it's just a second place, a second home for the dogs, and second place where owners really feel comfortable and love being at. So just yeah. creating that vibe, that community. And you guys know best, you have uh, four kids, four yeah. dogs, <laughs> and two cats. So yeah. you guys know how to run a home. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We're trying our best. Yeah. And, you know, we just want to bring that all together. You know, we, we want to bring our home life into our into our business. That's just what we're all about. So, yeah. Absolutely. you know. Well, thank you guys so much yeah. for coming in and sharing more yeah. about your business and your upcoming event. And viewers, you can meet more of the players' pups at the 2023 Meet and Treat the Dogs of the Bills happening Tuesday, October 17th from 6 to 8 at Burkology in Buffalo. You can learn more by heading over to alfordsangels.com. Thanks again for coming in, Thanks you guys. For Thanks for having us. For bringing the sleepy boy. Yeah. <laughs>